I did start um, pulling a few cards for you guys just to get a head start here. And one of the first things that came out, like a lot of other signs right now, the chariot. The chariot comes out for you guys in a way, though, of either making a decision or going into a new direction. So for your overall energy, some of you might be trying to make a decision between two different aspects of your life. Um, some of you might be wanting to go into a whole new direction from the one that you're currently in. Um, you'll know how this rings true for you. But in clarification, I did have the nine of wands to see what is driving, what is driving this decision, what is driving this um notion to want to go into a new direction or into a different direction and the nine of wands comes out so for a lot of you you are simply tired of the way that you're living now some of you have been in an environment that has been kind of toxic to you um i feel like it's been toxic for a while but it's just now starting to wear down on you more than ever before and this is what's making you want to literally make a decision and make it soon. Some of you are definitely struggling with some health issues. This could be migraine headaches. This could be actual physical type of elements having to do with the legs or the arms. Um, but I do feel like this could be pertaining to your work environment or the stress concerning your work environment or something to do with the line of work that you're doing. So I do see that there is some elements of health that could be really affecting you and assisting you to make a decision to go into a new direction. So again, however that applies. Now, the next thing that came out for you guys was this seven of swords, which is sneaky energy. Okay. Very sneaky energy. And I really hate when I see the Seven of Swords because in this particular reading, I feel like now that we're moving into the work portion of your reading, there could be someone at your job that literally cannot be trusted. I feel like you don't trust a particular person or there could be people or it could just come down to the whole integrity of the company. But when it comes to work, I feel like you just, you don't trust something about it. You have your own reasons, Cancer, for not trusting it. Maybe they promised you certain things and didn't deliver. Some of you have been noticing that there's been some money that's been, you know, missing from your paychecks. You feel as if, you know, the company is, you know, stealing from you. Um, but I also see here that for some of you, someone could be setting you up as the culprit of something that may have happened in in the office. Maybe there was some money that was missing or something that had to do with contracts or equipment. There was something that was definitely done and I feel like you guys may have been accused of such acts, right? And maybe you even know who it is and you don't want to point the finger. Maybe you suspect that this person has tried to allude to maybe that you were the one but i do feel like there is someone here that has been inflicted with being accused of something as if you guys were the sneaky one as if there was something that you guys may have done that was untrustworthy okay and then we have the page of wands so the good news is is that the page of wands shows up with good news right um, so this definitely will come to light. I feel like for some of you, whoever has accused you or gossiped behind your back, all of that's going to come to light. There's going to be some communication that comes in to clear up all of this. But for those of you that have been suspected of something or there's like this big mystery where nobody knows what happened um, and, and you just want you just want the air to be cleared. You don't know who it was for some of you. You just don't want it to be thought of as it being you. And you just can't wait till, you know, this mystery is solved, something like that. Um, but this is what I'm seeing. After this, 
you know, the sun card comes out. But the sun card did not come out in the upright. It did come out in reverse. So I do feel in collaboration with the nine of wands. Some of you are simply not feeling well. Some of you maybe are not working at this point in time and had to take FMLA or had to take a different type of job or because of your health issues, you are having to do something else and, and make a decision to go in a different direction because your health, all right, I, somebody here, this, it's something about health. This could also be that for some of you, um, this could be because of what's going on in the world today, the type of work that you were doing just doesn't feel right for you. It's like, you know, they're having so much anxiety and worry about, you know, what this means for you and what this means for your family to be in such um, a health crisis and still continuing to work with the possibilities of you being inflicted or your family being inflicted in an unhealthy way. Um, but there is something here with this being in reverse. There could be some delays is what I'm saying. There could be some delays in you trying to take this new direction. Some of you are in need of a vacation and have already set up a vacation um, just so that you could redirect, but you don't have real plans on leaving your job. You just need to redirect and refresh in. And with the sun card in reverse, there could be some delays in that vacation. All right. But it's like, I need a break is what I'm hearing. I need a break. So for those of you that that is the case, you will get that vacation. It's just going to be delayed. For others of you, it's like, you know, you are wanting to get out of this situation. Maybe some of you have applied for another job and you've been waiting for that good news to come in with the page of wands and it's a little delayed. Okay. But it is coming. So there is going to be some breakthrough for some of you that are just looking to um, get a breather. It's coming. It's just delayed. And those of you that want some clarity because of the sneaky behavior that's going on in the job or the thing that you've been accused of, however, that fits in for you, there's going to be some good news that comes about this. So for a lot of you, I do see that, um, you know, the air is going to clear, but let's go ahead and clarify. Let's get the outcome for work for cancer. Okay. All right, here we go again with the wands, seven of wands. Okay, so with the seven of wands, this is definitely talking about, you know, putting in some work. I feel like you guys have been working very, very hard. Um, there's been some challenges, but you're going to have the courage. Okay, you're going to have the courage to make this make this decision and and to go into the next direction okay i do that i do see that here let me get some more clarification so there's definitely been some obstacles here oh okay this one flipped here ace of swords yeah you're going to get some clarity all right there are some obstacles there are some challenges um, you guys are going to get the courage to get the clarity that you need or things are going to clear up and it's going to give you the courage to make the decision that you need and, and to move into a, ne a new direction. So I do see that for you guys. So that is what I see for the work portion. Let's go ahead and get Let's pull. good okay so it's focus 
It says, much of what you see in life is an agreement that something is in fact true. To develop power, focus on one aspect of your life. This could be your career, a sport, or some endeavor that you have passion about. Be an expert. In the process of becoming an expert, you fine tune your whole being. You collect the important parts of yourself and you begin to live the life of a warrior. Rid yourself of attitudes that are not essential to your task. Collect your energy and focus your power on wondrous and magical acts. Let the shell of your consciousness rise out of the ocean of your subconscious mind. It's just a matter of focus. Absolutely. Because when we're talking about, you know, there are some challenges, there are some obstacles, there are some health issues. It's like you need to get focused. Okay. And once you get focused, you now have power. All right. You have power to make the decisions or to move forward like the chariot. Okay. Or for some of you, for you to defend yourself. So this is very profound. And then it also talks about, um, you know, this could possibly be in your career. So we are going to move forward and see what is in store for your career. Okay. So this portion here will not resonate for sure with everyone out there. Okay. Some of these cards are going to be very, very direct with particular, um, you know, interests, um, career suggestions. Um, use this as confirmation, like I said before. So if you're wondering like, oh my God, is this reading for me? Or is this message for me? The confirmation might come out with the specifics of what the cards are that are drawn here. Okay. Um, if you've been trying to figure out what your life purpose is, um, I try to tell people all the time that, you know, your job could literally be a career, um, something that you could do for the rest of your life that would sustain you that could bring in fulfillment um but for most people a job is something that you do to you know try to pay some of your bills a career is usually something that you know we do for a long period of time we have a passion for we're really good at um and that's what it should be all about when it comes to a career career moves into your life purpose it, it should be something that is tied into something that you would want to do for the rest of your life something that you feel like you were meant to do you were meant um to come on this earth to do and you know in the second house um it talks about you know material things it talks about you know luxuries and being able to have things and go places um and you know it talks about those types of things and in the 10th house, we're focused on, you know, career and purpose, you know. And so I, I encourage you to really ask yourself, are you paying attention to what it is that you're being told within yourself? A lot of times you might think it's just a hobby where in fact it's your life purpose, which equates to that is your career path. OK, that is your life purpose. So if you're struggling with that, um, there might be some messages here. Um, if it doesn't show up here, um, the way to figure it out, because your purpose is always there, it's just always speaking to you. It could be this radical idea that you feel like no one would even invest in, or it just sounds so crazy, or you know, you have to know yourself and you have to be paying attention to the things that you love to do things that you're really good at. And typically those are the things that are ultimately um, going to drive you into your life purpose. So um, just use this as, um, you know, confirmation or a, a guiding point for, for some of you. All right. So the first thing that comes out is crystals. It says your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel of healing energy. Um, some of you do need some healing energy so that you can unblock the um, obstacle, the inner obstacle that's not allowing you to hear what your purpose is or what your career choice should be. Um, so you're prompted to connect with crystals that are, are really good for healing. Some of you are literally connected to crystals in a way that you do spiritual healing with, that you wanna teach other people how to do this. 
Some of you are wanting to open up a metaphysical shop that pertains to crystals. Um, some of you are just really, really spiritual and, you know, the crystals showing up could just be speaking to you to say, yes, you know, that spiritual direction, that spiritual work, whatever it is, um, you're connected to that pertains to healing is the thing for you. All right. We're going to move right along. We do have animals. It says you understand animals and communicate with them intuitively Trust your inner guidance as the animals are a part of your life's work. Yeah, some of you, um, you know, would be very good working as, as a veterinarian. Some of you um, have a, a really big love for animals and there's so many different careers that pertain to animals. So I encourage you to research that because, you know, a lot of times people, again, they're thinking that because they like something or they like to do something, you know, they're just drawn to that and that's a hobby. So if you're someone that has lots of animals within your home and you feel more connected when you're at home and with your animals and around other animals, it might be time for you to look into a career that pertains to animals. That's when you're more at home. That's when you feel more at peace, okay? For whoever that's for we also have the healer okay so this could be you know our nurses our doctors um our physical therapist anything that has to do with um healing again this could go into the spiritual realm as well but we're talking about physical healing for a lot of you some of you are wanting to be a doctor wanting to be a nurse or are already in these positions and this is confirmation that you're on the right path. So whoever that is for, and then ultimately this is for the collective here because it says, consider the career possibilities that are open to you now. Some of you have had some opportunities come to you and because you're not quite sure, and maybe this is why the chariot's here, you're not really knowing if this is something that you would like to do or that you're good at, but you don't really have anything on your radar either. So universe is saying, you know, you might want to take this opportunity and this might be the door opening to where you're supposed to go. So for some of you, weigh your options, consider your options. And for others of you, it's like research some options. All right, because there are some other possibilities out there that some of you have not been considering. Okay, um, but I do know that you guys want to do something different here for most of you here. All right, let's go ahead and see what the Starseed Oracle has to say here. Wow, they come right out. <laughs> yes, and yes, and yes, and yes. Okay, so the first card we have is Trust the Timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out, okay? Some of you feel like you have to make a decision really, really quickly. And I understand that it could be very, very difficult, um, especially if you're in situations where you feel uncomfortable or you feel accused or there's sneaky energy going on. But the universe says, okay, first of all, you need to focus because you need to make a plan. Um, but when it comes to career, it's like you want to be for sure. So it's like take your time. Take your time to figure it out because if this is something that you're going to be in for a while or, you know, forever, it's like really, really take your time with this and don't rush it. Don't just get into things, cancer, because you want a way out, right? If you have to stay in something that's not, if, as long as it's not toxic, it might just be boring, right? Stay in that until you figure out where you want to go because for some of you, you might have already been job hopping. So it's just like, you don't want to get into something else and then not like it and feel like, oh, I'm stuck because I've done this so many other times before. I'm just going to stick into it and then be miserable. It's like, take the real time to figure it out, okay? The other thing is surrender to the sweetness. This is Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. Yeah, they're saying... Take your time because you want to go into something that is like pure utopia. 
okay the image on this card is like absolutely beautiful it's amazing when you look at it you just you feel the fun it should be fun it should be um, something that you love to do it should make you feel like when you get up every day you have a purpose the money should just be a bonus okay you should be able to forget that you're even getting paid okay that's how good that it needs to feel for you and so this is why the universe is asking you to take your time to really figure this out okay very good i'm gonna get some angel guidance when it comes to career Yeah, it says overcoming difficulties. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Exactly. Just like we saw here um, with the Page of Wands, okay, communication, there's good news coming in. Um, for some of you, I feel like, you know, this is pertaining to a career as well. It's like, you know, you want to take in a new direction. Maybe some of you are getting, finally getting to do what it is that you want to do there's a new opening somewhere you're finally being able to change careers um but i do feel like um you know the worst the worst is to come for a lot of you okay some of you are mentally thinking that it's worse than it is but you do have options don't forget you always have an option to turn the page you always have an option to take a new direction so never feel like you don't have options that's that's simply not true 